the most trusted name in news, Fox News, every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. All right, 12 minutes before 8 o'clock, 74 degrees here at the studios of The Source, broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall, and today's forecast looks like it's pretty nice, partly cloudy skies, highs in the mid to upper 90s. Pretty much the whole thing. Beautiful. All right. So before the before the break, we started talking about this story about uh, Florida Senator, uh, U.S. Senator um, uh, Bill Nelson, um, contacting the Labor Department and uh, trying to figure out and having some kind of an investigation into abuses by the in the visa program. And it looks like, bottom line, that some companies are hiring immigrants and displacing American workers and the only thing I can think of it doesn't say it in the let in the article but the only thing I can think of is why would you do that except for the fact that the immigrants are accepting a lesser wage mm -hmm. and Dis Disney World is one of the uh, firms that is you know, one of the companies that is using according to the New York Times that is using one of these outsourcing companies <clears throat> Oh, Disney can get away with it because they have casting calls because they need certain people to represent certain countries to represent certain jobs. So they can get away with it. Okay. Because they have a casting So call. Okay. So in that case, I understand it. Mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. If you have a Morocco embassy in, in, uh, in Epcot, which you do. Yeah. But I, th I thought they brought in people. Yeah, well, that would... See, okay, no, so do. now you're making it make sense to me. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe Disney is off the hook on this one. Maybe what they're doing, because that's what they always advertise, right? Yeah. When you go to the Germany exhibit in Epcot, everybody working in there is actually from Germany. Right, right. And oh, here. okay. Well, then they shouldn't even be on this list. And, they, and, and you and I, when we've gone to France and, and Norway and Germany, and we, we sp actually spoken to the people while we were waiting to go to the right, and, right. and we asked them, where well, are you from? And they told us. All right, so, sorry, Disney. Yeah. It just was, but, but the other company, whoever the other companies are, mm -hmm. but, see, but see, that would make sense. And, you, and the way you said it, they, they cast because it's, a, it's an act. They're, they're putting on a show. Right. I mean, if you're behind the scenes, if you're sweeping the streets and stuff like that, it doesn't right, really then, matter. No, then, then give it to the, you know, American workers. <laughs> 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 Don't turn them. All right. Well, you, you put a different you're... light on it, Robin. So you made it make sense. Hmm. Well, I, and, and I, I know from talking to people who work for Disney that it's not the best paying job, at least oh, in no. the lower level. The bus drivers. Yeah. The bus drivers start out at minimum wage. I don't know whatever that is right now, seven something, eight something. Yeah. But the bus drivers start out at minimum wage and they start out on the night shift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they have to wait until somebody in the day shift is leaving. Right. Before they can leave the night shift and, and seniority counts. So if there's 10 guys on the night shift work, driving those buses and there's probably more than 10, mm -hmm. then you got to wait, you know, you got to wait your turn. Yeah. Which I guess that's fair too, but, but minimum wage is kind of crazy. You, you work in eight hours. I don't know. Maybe it's not crazy. I, I don't see. Maybe it's okay. I mean, they're driving buses. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it, I, I guess when you look at it from somebody who lives there and, and commuting to Disney is not a big deal. No. And there's no other there. job. <clears throat> it, and they have, I'm sure they have some kind of perks. Maybe and, and they it, like driving. And Anyway, yeah. Uh, shortly after Bill Nelson's request, his office received a couple of letters from Floridians concerned about Catalina and Mindtree. Those are the two organizations uh, that offer immigrant employees uh, a few days... Let's see. Um, a few days after Nelson's office received those letters, the Labor Department announced that it would investigate a similar inquiry about outsourcing made by... 10 of Nelson's Senate colleagues. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gee. There you go. Homeland Security told Nelson it would work jointly with labor on the probe he sought. So, 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 <laughs> Senator, other Senator, is that what it's saying? Yeah, yeah, it's saying that wow. he's doing the same thing. Um, yep. It would work jointly. Let's see. Uh, several outsourcing firms are now under scrutiny by labor because a group of 10 senators led by Senators Richard Durbin and Jeff Sessions brought reports of potential abuses to the agency's attention in a letter in April. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting story. Yeah, it is very. But, you uh, you know, I kind of like I like to think of Disney as a good guy. 
Yeah. And when you said what you said, it made me think, oh, okay, I guess I get that. I mm -hmm. mean, that makes sense, right? You're going to have right. Germans in the Germany pavilion, French people in the French pavilion, right? Right. Mexicans exactly. in the Mexican pavilion. I love exactly. that Mexican pavilion, by the way. Oh, yeah. I Isn't that do, a nice too. One? It is beautiful. Good morning. You're on the air. Uh, good morning, Larry Robin. As of, uh, oh, I don't know, but it was on the news yesterday that there are more people speaking foreign language in this country than there are people speaking uh, American English. That's not what it said. What it said was there are more Spanish... No, I'm, no, I'm telling you what I heard. I know, but I'm telling you what it said. It yeah, said you had the news story. It said there are more people speaking Spanish yes, in this well, country than there are people speaking Spanish in Spain. Yes. Right? Right. And the... Uh, in this country. Right. 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 There are more people speaking Spanish in the United States than there are people living in Spain speaking Spanish. Right. Yep. And and the United States is, is second to Mexico, because Larry had that in his uh, news report right. yesterday. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, uh, that's how they're uh, doing away with our country. Well, and you know, so the the point is still the same. I just wanted to correct the, the way you were saying it. The, yeah. the way you sounded like you were saying well, I didn't want to mention any specific ethnicity, but... Uh, well, that's what the story said, well, Spanish. Uh, yeah. But but I... I the numbers are the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. But anyway, have a good day, guys. Thank you, Sonny. I wasn't trying to argue with that. What I was trying to just say is the way he, it sounded what he was saying was mm -hmm. that there are more people speaking foreign languages in this country than there are people speaking English. Mm -hmm. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But that's not what the story said. No. We had the story from a couple different sources. Yes, we did. And that was the story. That w he might not have heard it on our station. He might have heard it somewhere else. But we all get the same news. Yeah. Pretty much. So it, it said there were more people, which is kind of a big. Uh, it's a huge number, too. It is huge. And huge. Uh, as, as much as I, I think the Spanish language is a beautiful language, this is America. And my feeling is, you know, you really should learn English. You exactly. Know? My grandparents had to learn English from Germany and uh and anybody who's, you know, moved here has had to learn English. Even, even American Indians, Native yes, Americans. Exactly. They had to learn English. <laughs> they had to learn English. Right. And, and this was their land, really, if you think about it. Right. Exactly. Uh, so, but that yes. was what the news... And I wasn't... I mean, the, ultimately, the point that Sonny was trying to make is still a good point. I mean, I mean, really, you know, respect the, the place you're living and, mm -hmm. and, you know, do your best. If I ever move to another country, which I doubt that I ever will... But I would do my best, even if I'm visiting. I, hey, when I visited Quebec, I really made an effort to speak French when I could. You did. You learned it. I learned how, how like to say, where's months. the bathroom? I just didn't understand where the what the answer was. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. You're on the air. Morning, guys. Hey, hey are you? See, when my wife gets mad at me, she speaks very clear <laughs> English. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. about all I got to say about it. Okay. <laughs> I like that. It's funny. That is nice. Just call us up one time. Put the phone. <laughs> just, just hold the phone. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, sneak it. Uh, Let her know you're doing it. Anything else in the news? Uh, let's oh, no, this is huge. See, this is uh, huge. Oh, the debates. Oh, the debates. Oh, yes. I forgot all yeah. about the debates. Um, so, the, so there's a schedule of debates. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. I didn't even think about that. Well, this isn't anything to, to, to debate, really. You can't debate the debates. No, no, you Exce can't. Except for the fact that I think the debates should include all of the all the players, all the all the people. Sure. Well, anyway, so um, the first one. Oh, this is not it. What's my debate list? Oh, okay. This is my debate list. <laughs> mm, the 2016 debate schedule. Are you ready for this? Yes. And I hope, I, I really am looking forward to hearing Donald Trump in the debate. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to hearing Hillary in the debate. Yeah. Because everybody up there with these two people are going to be their their competition. Yeah, exactly. And um, I'm curious to see how it all goes down. Fox News is going to have a debate in Ohio in August of this year. Nice. In August, just next month. Well, yeah, they should start early. Uh, CNN is going to have a debate in California at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in September of this year. Two months. Is that right? Wow. In October in Colorado, CNBC is going... These are the Republican debates, by the way. Mm -hmm. CNBC is going to broadcast the Republican debate in October in Colorado. Fox Business is going to have a debate in November of this year in Wisconsin. These are the presidential debates. 
This is pretty good stuff. It is. I mean, they shouldn't wait till Don't leave like anybody out. August. Don't leave Rand Paul out. No. Uh, CNN will have another one in Nevada in December. Fox News will have one in Iowa in January. Once it becomes a new year, it becomes a, 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 a tight race, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. ABC News will have one in February in, of course, New Hampshire. CBS will have one in February in South Carolina. NBC, speaking of Spanish, NBC Telemundo is going to have one of the debates here in Florida in February. Well, okay. if it's on Telemundo, Jeb Bush is going to soar. Well, sure. He he speaks sure. Spanish you know, like a like a native. He's very good at it. Yeah, he is. So he's gonna he won't need an interpreter. Uh, Fox News is going to have a debate in March with the location to be determined. CNN has one to be determined in March also. Uh, conservative media debate. It doesn't have a date or a location. So those are those are all the debates that are coming up. Yeah, but anybody that qualifies should be allowed to be in the debates. Good morning. You're on the air. Yes, I agree, Robin. And uh, also, uh, the debates aren't really debates. They they pick a a very when the topic that comes up is very very narrow in scope. Yeah. And consequently, uh, yeah. the uh, the uh, moderators of the debate are more debating than the candidates. Sometimes. Because they put uh, right. so much, uh, you know, they try to stifle the reply so much. Right. And to me, it's uh, not, you know, it's uh, you go along with their program rather than actually the subject that's supposed to be talked about. Still promises to be interesting. Thank you, Sonny. We'll be right back. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lilia Moo. Global markets are rallying on word that Greece, officially in default, is ready to accept most conditions for...